2022 has been a crazy year so far. Let's make it even crazier by factoring out this expression that Wolfram Alpha had trouble with. Because x to the 2022 minus 1, that is the same thing as x to the 1011 squared minus 1 squared. Now, just use the difference of squares. So x to the 1011 minus 1 times x to the 1011 plus 1. But we can do even better than that because 1011, that is 3 times 337. So this now becomes x to the 337 cubed minus 1, so which is minus 1 cubed, times x to the 337 cubed plus 1, which is minus minus 1 cubed. And therefore, we can just use the difference of cubes formula. So this becomes x to the 337 minus 1 times x to the 337 squared plus x to the 337 plus 1. And same spiel with the other one, x to the 337 plus 1 times. So you just replace x with minus x. So x to the 337 squared minus x to the 337 plus 1. However, we can do even better than that because this is just of the form a to the n minus b to the n, which we can factor out even further. And therefore, we obtain the following expression. So what we get is x minus 1 times 1 plus x plus x squared plus dot 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 plus x to the 336, so x to the n minus 1. And same spiel with the other term, so times x plus 1, but you replace x with minus x, so we have this alternating sum, dot dot dot, and then plus x to the 336. And finally, we have those two other terms, which are x to the 674 plus x to the 337 plus 1 times x to the 674 minus x to the 337 plus 1. And you might say, can we do better? You betcha, because this is Dr. Payam's show. Because, think about this a little bit. Well, x to the 2022 equals 1. Well, 2022 is divisible by 3. So you should expect a root, a third root of unity. So you should expect x cubed minus 1 to divide this. And remember, x cubed minus 1 is x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1. And similarly with x cubed plus 1, which is x plus 1 times the alternating sum, x squared minus x plus 1. And you might ask, well, where do those factors go? They're precisely in those expressions. So it turns out this expression, you can still divide it by x squared minus x plus 1. And this expression, you can divide it by this one. So we can actually go one step further. And let me show you the long division so you can see the pattern. So let's try to divide x674 minus x337 plus 1 by x squared minus x plus 1. Well, first of all, we have our x672 because if you multiply here, we get x674 minus x673 plus x672. And this gives you x673 minus x672. And again, this junk term, minus x337 plus 1. Well, I notice this does have the same sign, so it's OK to do plus x671. And then you get, I think, x673 minus uh, x672 plus x671. 
And notice here, two terms cancel out, and we get a minus. So minus x671, and again, minus x337 plus 1. So what happens here now is that we have a jump, and we switch signs. So the next term will be x to the 669. So you see? 7, 2, 7, 1, 69. So we have this jump. But then if you continue, I will not show you the whole thing. Well, the next term is as expected, minus x to the 668. But then again, you jump and you get x to the 666. So you see, we have plus, plus, minus, minus, plus, plus, minus, minus, until turns out you reach 337, at which place there's a switch. <laughs> Not Nintendo switch, but there's a switch in science. So then what we obtain is the following expression. I know it looks horrible, which it is, but it does have a nice pattern to it, because if you take x674 minus x337 plus 1, as I said, it is factorizable by x squared minus x plus 1. And then again, you start plus, plus, jump, minus, minus, jump, plus, plus, jump, minus, minus, plus, plus, minus, minus. They come in pairs until you reach minus 339, minus 338. Remember the 337? So plus 336. And the next term, you would expect plus 335, but not so. Suddenly, we just jump from 1 plus to 1 minus. And then we go back to minus minus, plus plus, minus minus, until you have minus minus, jump, plus plus. So, kind of neat pattern. It breaks precisely at 337. And similarly, you have it with the other expression if we replace x by minus x. And summa summarum, lo and behold, you then get the following factorization of x to the 2022 minus 1. So in the end, we get the following expression. And again, I know it looks like a nightmare. If you look at Wolfram Alpha, it's even worse than your worst nightmare. But what happens here is that we get x to the 2022 minus 1 is, again, the single root 1 minus 1, the third root of unities, the other third root of unities, and then this whole shebang, 1 plus x up to x336, the same thing but alternating, and then the thing about pairs, plus plus minus minus, where it breaks at this point, and same thing with the minus x. So that's all we can do. But now, I would like to remind you, x to the 2022 equals 1. That's not such a bad equation after all, because notice the absolute value of x equals 1. So x has the form ei theta times 2022 equals 1. Well, 1 is e to the 2 pi m i. So 2 times myself times i. And then what we get is e to the 2022 theta i equals e to the 2 pi m i, where m is any integer. And then comparing exponents, what we end up getting is 2022 theta is 2 pi m, which tells you that, well, theta is just pi m over 1011, where m goes from. 0, 1, 2, 3, up to, I think, 1,011, but also the other side. And in particular, what we can do now, we can just draw this on the complex circle, on the unit circle. Because if this is the unit circle on the complex plane, then we do have a root 1, which we can find with m equals 0. We have a root minus 1 which we can find with m equals 1011. Right, this is this x minus 1 and x plus 1. But then we also have, if you wish, the sixth root of unity. 
times 1 plus square root of 3i over 2, etc., etc., which I believe you can reach with m equals to 337 and m equals to uh, 674. Also the other roots. And those come from this x squared minus x plus 1. This one and this one. And this is the x squared plus x plus 1. And then, of course, you have the other roots, which are evenly spread out on the circle. And they all come from those other factors. How cool is that? So yeah, 2022 is a crazy year, and we just made it crazier. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.